Hello, I'm Eric, and welcome to Metrics Mule. Today I want to discuss how to write a 1,000 word blog post using ChatGPT. Now in my first video, we touched on how to use ChatGPT for SEO, but today I want to focus this video with the one sole purpose to see how successful ChatGPT can be with writing a 1,000 word blog post. Now the first one we're going to ask it to do is to give me 10 blog post ideas related to SEO. Number two, give me a creative title for a blog post regarding keyword research. Number three, I'll ask it for some good tips for writing a successful blog post. Number four, I'll then compare those results to see what Google said. And then the last one, number five, I'll ask it to write a 1,000 word blog post and we'll see how good it can do. Let's get started. Here's what's new. We made more improvements to the model and stop generating. Okay, sounds good. So let's go to the first step that we asked it to do. Give me 10 blog post ideas related to SEO. Let's see what it does. The top 10 SEO trends to watch in 2022, a beginner's guide to on-page SEO. Okay, it's pretty fast. It's, it's, it's knocking these out pretty quick. Okay, so there's 10 ideas relatively quickly that it produced for me. Let's do one more thing. Let's just say those 10 aren't good enough or you want a little bit more. I'm gonna ask it to give me uh, 10 more. And see, ChatGPT is really good about understanding the conversation because it understood that give me 10 more, or I misspelled that, give to 10 more, which proves my point. Even with me misspelling it, it, um, it knew exactly what I was talking about. So even if I say give me 10 more, or in this case, give to 10 more, it knows to continue the original request to produce 10 blog post ideas. So what I'm doing is I'm looking to see if these uh, these additional 10, if there's any overlap. Okay, so I have 20 total, 20 blog post ideas relating to SEO. That's something to work off of for sure. So let's go to the second request. Give me a creative title for a blog post regarding keyword research. And now let's see if it can handle that. <laughs> so I asked it to give me a creative title for a blog post regarding keyword research, and it did. It did that. The title, Keyword Sleuth, Uncovering the Hidden Gems in Your SEO Strategy. I'm going to tell it to give me more. Here we go. Okay. I do, I do like how when I asked it to give me a creative title, it, it, I mean, it did that. It gave me a creative title, Keyword Sleuth. <laughs> So I asked it to give me more, and it's providing more relatively quickly. Okay, I like how it gave me even 10 more. I have 20 blog post ideas, and I'll narrow it down to a topic. Okay, let's just go with something relatively simple. Uh, I'm going to go with number one at the bottom, Keyword Research 101, A Beginner's Guide to Mastering SEO. Let's go ahead and make that our title just to keep it simple. But what if you're kind of new to writing a blog post? That's where ChatGPT can come in and offer some good tips. So what I'm going to do before we start writing blog posts, I'm going to ask it, what are some good tips for writing a successful blog post? Let's see how it does when asking that. What are some good tips for writing a successful blog post? Okay, let's see if we can handle this. Okay. It, it does seem like it does seem like they're having improvements to be honest because when I logged on to chat GPT today I didn't get that banner announcement saying we're, we're experiencing high volumes and it seems like their response and UI has been improved since January 8th choose a compelling topic research thoroughly create a strong headline use formatting to guide readers that's a good one headings bullet points images make it scannable easy for for readers to quickly scan and understand its main points use visual aids Add your own voice, conclude strong, and proofreading and editing. 10 very solid points. I'm very impressed with that. The thing about ChatGPT, I like these 10 points. This is, these are 10 points that are legit good um, that you can really learn from. And so just by reading these 10 points, if you're a novice at writing blog, blog posts, I feel like these 10 points are a good starting points, a good mechanism to help you start your, your path. That's very interesting. 
So what I want to do next is I want to take these same results and I, I want to now Google search them and kind of see the information that I will get from Google asking it the similar questions. Okay, so I typed in the same thing in the Google search. What are some good tips for writing a successful blog post? And let's see the first thing that comes up. And now let's compare the two. The difference is, is that when you're when you do a search on ChatGPT, it's producing AI content right there on the page. When you do it with Google, it's going to show you content from other people's um, helpful helpful content uh, relevant to uh, your search. I have to say though, the very first result I get from Google is um, it's from Masterclass. Okay, it's very similar. Okay, so let me hit the back button and I'll look at these other tips. You're targeting what your readers want, keep it short, use bullet the text. Um, similar results, I'll write a good blog post. So I'll tell you, um, ChatGPT did a very good job. We know Google's king with search, um, but ChatGPT did a, did a very good job with providing those 10 tips. Now let's cross-reference and compare. Give me 10 blog post ideas relating to SEO. And so I'll get through these ads and I'll scroll down. The first organic result will produce something. So this isn't really giving me 10 blog post ideas. It's giving me kind of like tips. What's trending? Make keywords count. So give me 10 blog post ideas relating to SEO. And the very first organic result isn't what I'm looking for as far as ideas. On ChatGPT, it's giving me ideas like what sort of topics can I write about? Can I title my post about? Whereas the first organic result I get here is basically telling me, providing tips, which are good tips. Your own content, post regularly, make keywords count. So Google probably loses the chat GPT on this round. Chat GPT gave me 10 blog post ideas, 10 essential titles or topics I could work off of. Meanwhile, the first organic result in Google provided more or less tips. Now, to be fair, the second result is from Ahrefs. And no, I mean, to, honestly, it's, it's similar. It's the same thing. It does provide ideas, but it's, it's giving me more or less, again, tips on how to successfully do it. So, I mean, in that case, in this one, with the comparison with ChatGPT and Google, I feel ChatGPT might have the leg up with the comparison and results there. Because if you're looking to just get to the point very quickly and you just want 10 Boom, just give me 10 or 20 or 30 ideas, titles, topics, subject lines, etc. Chat GPT, in my opinion, is going to win. You can still get it on Google, but if you just want a quick in your face, show it to me very quickly, it seems like Chat GPT just boom, it put it out there in your face. Then you could take whatever idea or topic that you like the best, and then you could use Google to kind of expand on that or learn about it. But just to quickly get 10 ideas, I think. ChatGPT is definitely going to be the winner here in this case. Now let's see how well ChatGPT can write a 1,000 word blog post. So I asked it to write a 1,000 word blog post for Keyword Research 101, a beginner's guide to mastering SEO. I essentially just asked it to write a 1,000 word blog post and copy and pasted the title I chose. Okay, so it's, I asked it to do 1,000 words. Now let's see. It's still, it's still going. I'm impressed with this, I gotta tell you. I think the more and more I use this, the more and more I'm impressed. And it does seem improved. If you if you watch my first video, well, there's a, I, I did ask it to write a thousand word blog post and it hit around 400. I still don't know if this is a 1,000 word blog post, we're about to find out, but it does seem like it is a little bit longer now. I'm, I'm impressed. Let's just look at the first paragraph or so. Let's just scan it. Keyword research is one of the most important elements of search engine optimization. Parentheses SEO, very good process of identifying okay that's SERPs in here before you can start researching you need to understand the basics of how search engines work okay very good so let me take all this and let's get a word count and see how long this blog post is so I pasted it okay not bad not bad so it's not 1000 words but it's 652 not bad because to write a blog post like this or to get you to a good starting point 652 words will save you a considerable amount of time. So after I copied and pasted everything in Grammarly, like I said, 652 words, over 4,021 characters, 
two minutes, two and a half minutes of reading time, 55 readability score. Okay. So then the most important thing, which I want to reiterate again, is that once I have ChatGPT write a pretty good blog post that I'm happy with, use it as an outline only and not as your end all be all. What I mean by that is don't depend 100% on ChatGPT's verbiage verbatim because with Google's algorithms or updates, the most recent being the content or helpful content update, you want to make sure that you add your own human personal element and touch to it so it doesn't seem like plagiarism because Google's extremely smart. And the last thing you want them to do is to see you upload a ton or write a ton of blog posts that seem too AI generated. But we could use these 652 words as a great starting point and add our own personal touch to it. So what you can do and make your life way easier. So we got a good 652 word blog post from ChatGPT, but we know that we want to add a more human touch or element to it to make it not seem so robotic. Here's what you do. So you have the blog post above, it wrote it, did a great job. But now to get your ideas to make it more humanized, ask it now, make it more light hearted. Let's see. Okay, that's, va that's fast. It knew exactly what I meant. It kept the conversation going. It knew what I was focusing on. It did the blog post. Now I just had to say, make it more lighthearted. And so far, so very good. Let's just see. You're on the search for those golden phrases that are going to help drive traffic to your website. And just like any treasure hunt, there are a few things you need to know before you start digging. Okay, I like this paragraph right here. Next, it's time for the fun part, brainstorming keywords. There are plenty of free and paid keyword research tools available online. Very good. I like how it talks about long tail keywords right here. So up here, it says keyword research can be a bit like a treasure hunt. That's your intro. Outro conclusion. In short, keyword research is like a treasure hunt for the perfect phrases that are going to drive traffic to your website. ChatGPT did an incredible job to opening up and closing as a summary. Okay, so it did. It, it made it more lighthearted, which is good, which can help you make it more human. So then to sum this up, what I would do then is I would take this 652 word blog post and I would take this more lighthearted one I asked ChatGPT to generate. I would kind of combine the two and they seem to be at both about the same length. Let's just say they're total, it's 1200 words total. I would take the lighthearted one and the more professional one, and then I would combine them and make it make more sense. But that way you have ideas to make it more lighthearted and not seem so stuffy or robotic. But it's still important to add your own personal touch to it. So add your own words, add your own language, the words you use every day as if you're talking to a friend when you're writing it, and use ChatGPT as a guide or a crutch. So what I started to do, I ask it two questions every time. Write a blog post, and I always say make it funnier or make it more lighthearted. So when you do it that way, you have the best of both worlds, a professional one and a lighthearted one. Then you can take the two, merge them together, and you can really have a good starting point to write a helpful blog post for any topic. So I know we've talked about SEO a lot. Last thing I wanna do, not gonna go over it too much, but let's just ask it one more thing. Now, the last thing I'm doing here is I just asked it to write a blog post on how to grill a filet mignon. I know we spent a lot of time on SEO, so let's just write something. Let's ask it to write something completely off subject here. And as soon as I hit enter, after asking it to write a blog post on how to grill a filet mignon, it immediately spit out the steps on how to do it. Preparing the filet mignon. Come to room temperature for about 30 minutes. Cook for four or five minutes on each side for a medium rare finish or six to seven per side for a medium finish. Check for doneness. Okay, okay, that's that's right. Very good, but I like the final touch at the very end where it gave me the essential steps. But now at the very end, it's giving me a few more tips. Make sure your grill is hot. Avoid moving the filet around too much. If you want to add some extra flavor, brush it with butter. Okay, I have to tell you, so far I'm very impressed with ChatGPT. Um, when comparing it with Google, Google's still king. But in a few things, ChatGPT wins. It gets to the point fast, and if you're just looking for quick ideas or a quick blog post, ChatGPT will quickly help guide you and save a lot of time. I mean, if you do this the right way, it could really save 30, 40, 50% of your time. I wouldn't depend on it 100%, but 
I gotta say, I'm wowed by, by ChatGPT and um, I'm interested on seeing where it goes. So I just wanna say thank you very much for watching. And if you can, just please hit that subscribe button. This is a new page for us. Your support is so appreciated.